Hello there, Tenacious Crew. We are going to try to make a guide for the Calcastis uh, special mission in uh, Phase 2. Uh, first, I think um, what was important to me, at least, uh, was to kind of go over uh, uh, Jedi Cal's kit. Um, I'll be honest, um, with so many new kits coming out, new characters, and the kits are getting lengthier and lengthier. Um, sometimes I just kind of uh, get the gist of the new characters thing. I don't really re look um, too much into it. But um, with this one, um, there are a lot of, uh, I think, uh, little things that are kind of important. So once I, um, I, once I was able to kind of understand it better, I think it the mission made a lot more sense. So we will start with the Jedi Survivor uni Unique. Um, so um, the one important thing, I think we all know that he needs to get to 30 stacks to insta-kill. But how does he get to those 30 stacks of Impetuous? Well, first, when he gains a configuration, he gains five stacks. Meaning, even if he stays in the same configuration, he still will gain 5 stacks. Uh, but we want to get to the new configuration as, as soon as possible. So let's look at um, the rest of the mechanic. The basic, you know, he always uses the basic first, which is, dispels the buffs. And then he will use one of those three abilities. At first, only two are avail available, the, the slam and the defense. So with the slam, let's look what it does. Um, it will inflict armor shred, um, can potentially daze, and stun. Armor shred is unresistible, and so it will always apply. I, I don't think I was really able to get the potency high enough for the daze and stun, but armor shred will really help build up uh, once you build it up like two you know two up to four i guess then it will really help uh bring down some of those uh, targets but if we look up um so if he did not have a configuration he will gain five more stacks so basically if we switch to a new configuration he will gain 5 from the ability and 5 from the unique. So he will gain 10. And we need to get to the 30, preferably as soon as possible, so that we can insta-kill one of the targets in the wave and then just, you know, deal with the with the other one with, through armor shreds. Uh, so that's the first one. The second, the defense. Uh, what it does, it do also does the stacks, but it gives uh, protection up and repost and retribution. So um, this is normally, you know, fine or whatever, um, maybe useful, maybe not useful. But the problem with the retri retribution and repost combination for that mission specifically is if... Um, he counters and um, the IPD is taunting or even IPD attacks uh, Jedi Cal he will take the counter since the repost hits under protection the counter will take the IPD below 100% health and what does that mean that means that IPD will explode and um, that's how I lost uh, my Seer, I think, every time I played. Which, again, could be my bad on the modding. Maybe she needs to get her modding updated. But I just run her in the same kind of like a slow build that I run for my um, uh, PvP. So, anyway, this one. So, due to this uh, interaction, we kind of want ideally for him not to stay in this configuration 
for too long. And once you insta-kill the first uh, character, you probably don't even need to switch to it. You can just uh, spam armor shreds on uh, the remaining target uh, to avoid the IPD from exploding. Anyway, and uh, the last uh, ability, Assault. Well, that's the one with the insta-kill. As we can see, the first time it's used, instantly def defeat the enemy. Um, again, I'm not sure if uh, I was able to uh, you know, inflict other uh, uh, debuffs, uh, but uh, it has some other uh, you know, abilities that it, uh, effects that it does. But what's most important for us is that it's, it's the instant defeat on the first use in that wave. So we want to build up to, and let me go back, and it, it can only be used once he's at 30 stacks. So we need to build up to 30 stacks, insta kill the main target, or if they're like similar, I guess, doesn't really matter, whichever. Um, and um, then just spam uh, armor shreds and try to not stay in the in this uh, ability the dual wield um, in a stance dual dual wield that's granted by the windmill defense so um, I think basically that's uh, what's important as far as his uh, mechanics and now let's hop into mission itself and let's look at the modding first. Um, Seer, we have... Um, I just have the regular uh, GAC modding for her, which could be too slow, but that's just the way I run her. Um, 157 speed total, um, all health mod sets for health primaries, and we try to get a lot of health on uh, the secondaries. She does die usually, but I think I've been misplaying up until this point because I haven't really thought through um, the IPD interaction. So let's hope that with a new understanding of the kit, we can do it better. And Jedi Cal, we have a good amount of speed, 310. Also, uh, all health mod sets, speed, on the arrow, we have three health primaries, and we're trying to get you know a decent amount of protection, uh, protection again, some offense if possible, health again. Just kind of a, I think the best way to uh, go about it is just try to survive with Cal. Um, and let's hop in the battle. So again, our goal is to get to 30 stacks as efficient as possible. So here we start with the basic. Uh, let's, let's go with uh, this one first. So we, we went with the defense ability first because we are hoping to switch to the Um, to the first stance. Okay, and now let's target the other and we go back to the one with the repost. Okay, that went well because the other trooper was taunting at the time. So we did not attack the IPD. So IPD did not get uh, brought down below 100% um, health. Let's see, uh, probably, let's just uh, heal ourselves up. Okay. And I think now what we'll do is we will just basically spawn Spam, I mean, uh, armor shred on the remaining trooper. So we're not gonna change stances. 
Well, I guess we do need to change stances to apply more armor shred. Um, but let's go to the third stance. We will try to avoid the one with the repost. Although, okay. Although our cal got a little low here. All right, so again, we're at zero stacks. So we start with, um, we'll target the purge trooper and we will do the repost. We'll dispel uh, the IPD taunt and we'll do the armor shred on the purge trooper. Now we are 20 stacks. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's do this. All right, our cow is not doing all too well. We will need to go to the repost. But I think now we might have got IPD below the 100% health. Yes, yeah, so IPD is going to explode, but we did survive. Now we just need to make sure it doesn't happen again. All right, so we're going to switch to the first stand, supply another armor shred. Um, let's do basic and uh, let's see, what does this do? Uh, they do heal up, but let's not do that just because we cannot afford uh, the repost again to, uh, you know, to, to get the IPD explosion. So let's uh, heal up here and dispel. Now we can do the first ability again, another armor shred and uh, let's switch to the third stance and we got it so um this time everybody was able to survive well everybody both you seer and cal i think uh if i can find uh another video where i misplay it um i still win but uh, I think IPD ends up exploding twice um, and Sierra dies. But Cal actually in the other ones stayed pretty healthy. So I think, again, maybe there's a more optimal way to play it because Cal did get pretty low in this run, which never happened, I think, before. Um, so I guess there's a... Some, some some kind of a type of a trade-off. If we do that uh, um, defense special uh, that gives us uh, the stance with the repost and retribution, uh, I think it gives him a lot of protection up. And so uh, he's going to stay healthier. But then there's a chance that IPD is going to uh, get countered and will explode thus a hurt in seer another thing i can probably try to get seer faster uh, just so that she can heal more frequently because i don't think having her that slow is beneficial for this mission anyway um let's look at the uh, run that is uh, less than optimal And here we are with the run that went, well, different. Again, like I said, it ends up being uh, a win, but we we'll lose Seer. However, Cal is never in danger. So, you know, maybe that is just a, as good of an approach as my initial suggestion. So anyway, here, just like in the, in my previous run, we start with the repost uh, because we will, we kind of we know that we will be able to dispel first of all dispel uh, IPD and we'll switch to the armor shred first stance before IPD can attack us and we counter. Um, so 
we continue alternating um, between the first stance and the second. So here we got, uh, well, actually, yes, that, that, that's another different way. I actually stayed in the first um, stance and here I, you know, it, it's not gonna apply armor shred if we are in the, if we stay in the same stance, but basically just stay in the turn longer. It, it will take us still one extra turn to get to the Annihilate. But it also um, prevents us, I guess, from staying in the Repost Retribution stance that might trigger IPD to blow up. So again, it, it's taken longer, but it could be just as valid of an approach. Um, and now we're just trying to stack armor shreds and we alternate here between um, the assault, the third special, and yeah, here, that's probably another mistake. I I mean, it's good that uh, IPD had um, her, the special coming up and I didn't uh, smack uh, Cal, but here, uh, uh, I think that's when I'm gonna be, a be able to use the assault special and we nuke even though it's not the Annihilate, but there's enough damage to take out the remaining uh, trooper. Here we start uh, with, um, I think we start with the Repost again. Mm -hmm. So we're at 10 stacks. We dispel IPD and we get the Armor Shred on the trooper and now we will be at 20 stacks. And I believe this is where I play it differently as instead of switching to the repost again, I just stay in the armor shred, uh, well, in the first stance uh, that gives armor shred if you switch, but it, it doesn't give armor shred for us in this case because we're staying the same one. So yeah, here we're at 25 stacks and uh, they're kind of going at Seer. So that's the disadvantage of using that approach, which I guess it wasn't really approach because now I'm back in the repose stance, which was definitely a mistake. Um, but, and I'm just in the, at the 30 stacks now. So I guess if, we want to go with the approach of avoiding repost retribution, then we should have just stayed in the first stance to begin with. Because we were at 25, we would have gotten an extra one and we would, would have been able to nuke uh, second sister without uh, the fear of a droid exploding. But even then, um, here Cal is very healthy, we lose Seer, but I don't think he's at at, you know, in any danger of uh, dying, even though he uh, uh, takes IPD below the threshold and IPD is gonna explode at us, but he has so much protection up and um, we still win. So two different ways to play it. I think modding is really important because I didn't play it correctly in, in this situation and I still was able to win. So hope those videos, this video helps and good luck.